Hey everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Megan Nunez of FanDuel, who's here to give us her best bets for week number four. What's going on, Megan? Not a whole lot, just trying to make some money. Last week we happened to. I think we uh, went 3-0 and last week, finally. So i um, ready to see if we can do it again. 3-0 and is the beginning of a streak, so let's keep rolling. And to do that, we'll get into the Battle of the Potomac as the Washington football team takes on the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens are coming off uh, just like thrashing at the hands of the Kansas City Chiefs. Lamar Jackson and the Ravens are facing off against that Washington football team, and they are heavy 13-point favorites, but that is not enough to scare you off. It's definitely not. So obviously we all watched Monday night. The Chiefs pretty much look like they took advantage of the Ravens on every aspect. But I don't think the Ravens got exploited like people are saying they did. They just got lit up by Patrick Mahomes, and it happens to the best of us. Uh, this week, they're traveling to go play that Washington football team, and I think they're going to be angry. And I think it's going to be a get-right spot for them, essentially. Uh, what I've learned about the Ravens is they struggle against the top tier teams, but they really beat up on those weaker teams. And while I do respect Ron, I think he's a great coach. I just don't see the Washington football team being a top tier team at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and take Lamar Jackson off of an L with all 13 points, taking the Ravens. Riverboat Ron wasn't happy with how Dwayne Haskins played last week. It's not going to get better against Baltimore and with Lamar Jackson. Yes, they got destroyed by Patrick Mahomes. As Megan said, most people get destroyed by Patrick Mahomes. Lamar Jackson and John Harbaugh and this Ravens team, they're going to be upset and probably take it out on Washington. The Ravens, minus 13, are the pick. Going with a home dog next is the Chicago Bears and Nick Foles Magic, baby, back in the saddle. They are plus three at home this week against Indianapolis. And I feel like we've turned the corner on people remembering that Indianapolis lost in week one to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now they're in Chicago with Nick Foles starting, with the defense getting healthy. The Bears at plus three seem like almost a little too obvious home dog at the right number, too, at three. Yes, I'm taking the Bears plus three. This team is three and zero. Oh, how I don't know, but now I mean, they finally have a quarterback that I trust in Nick Foles. Um, they're playing the Colts this week, who just came off a cupcake game against the Jets, and now the Bears they find a good spot. Home dogs at plus three. I'm rolling with B D N. Use the acronyms wisely. I'm taking the Bears. In Chicago, taking on the Colts this week at plus three. Nick Foles getting the start. He's first as a Chicago Bear. The Mitchell Trubisky error is over for Chicago. Let's see if they can keep this streak going here against Indianapolis, plus three at home on Sunday. And that's not the only home dog you're taking here on Sunday because the Las Vegas Raiders are also in play for you. And this is a sneaky line, right? They're plus three at home against the Buffalo Bills, 3-0. Everybody talking about Josh Allen. This Bills team finally going to end the reign of New England in the AFC East. And yet they're only a three-point favorite in Las Vegas this week. Something seems a little interesting here. Yeah, this week... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the Raiders. Last week, the Raiders could not have asked for a worse spot. Short week, traveling to New England, having to play in Foxborough. Obviously, I took the Patriots there. I feel like the Bills could possibly be in a letdown spot here, similar to how the Raiders were last week. The Bills are having to travel. The Raiders are back at home where they beat my Saints. Uh, I just think this is a sneaky good spot for the Raiders here. I think they might even win out right. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Raiders as home dogs, plus three. Respect to Josh Allen, but I think that the Raiders get it done this week. It just smells a little off for the Las Vegas Raiders, plus three only here at home against the Buffalo Bills, a team that the public is all over. Megan likes the Raiders here at plus three. That's going to do it for us here in the FanDuel Hurry. Megan, we appreciate the time. Let's keep the streak going. All right, yeah, let's do it. Have a great weekend with your Reds. Tomorrow, Tom Becky is going to join me right here on the FanDuel Hurry Up as we go over his top value plays in DFS this week. For Megan Nunez, I am Greg Sossman. Have a wonderful night. I'll see you back here tomorrow for another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up.